Hey Vinyl Community, Mark from Sound Matters here. Today's topic is an interesting one. We're going to talk about whether or not heavy, modern, 180 gram vinyl actually sounds better. It's a bit of a kind of myth-busting series, this one, so let's get straight into it and find out what's really going on. So traditionally, vintage vinyl came anywhere between 120 and sort of 150 grams in terms of the thickness, the weight of the vinyl, how thick the actual disc is. And for many years, these standards seem to work just fine. But with the resurgence of vinyl over the last sort of 10 to 15 years, increasingly we get records that are pressed on a thicker 180 gram grade of vinyl and so these are often kind of presented as audiophile pressings it will say pressed on audiophile 180g vinyl so what gives you know does this actually sound better does this make it a better product is it a better or more sort of audiophile driven experience or is it just a swindle from record companies to sell more records we're going to answer that today so the short answer to this is that no, in terms of the actual grooves, there isn't actually any difference in terms of the potential audio quality uh, of the record just because the disc is thinner. One of the misconceptions you'll hear about 180 gram vinyl is that somehow that the grooves are deeper and that there's more detail in the music and that's simply not true because the cutting specifications of the disc and how the record is actually made regardless of the weight and the thickness of the record are the same it doesn't matter whether it's 180 gram whether it's 160 150 or even very very flimsy you know 120 gram vinyl in fact as we get into the 80s and even into the 90s when vinyl became a secondary format to cds and a bit of an afterthought by record labels the records became very thin indeed let's take this example of a Lenny Kravitz album from the or actually a single from the 90s uh, called Let Love Rule right and um, I'll try and show you on the um, on the camera here but this is very very flexible very thin flimsy vinyl in Deed, right does that mean that the record will sound bad because it's thin no uh, does it make it feel slightly cheaper yes absolutely and so as we get to uh, the vinyl revival though when we get into kind of you know the 2010s onwards increasingly we see stuff pressed onto 180 gram which was never really a thing even in the heyday of uh, the you know the, the the vinyl record era let's take this release of um, it's a vmp release from this month actually vmp classics release uh, barbara lee record uh, re-released from the 1950s now it's on 180 gram audiophile vinyl and it's a very very thick uh, record indeed not very flimsy at all compared to our lenny kravitz example does that in itself make the record superior no but there are there are specific benefits to uh, thicker vinyl or even just some things that make it feel nicer. And we'll get to that right now. So first up, and perhaps the most obvious, is that 180 gram vinyl can be more durable. It is less prone to warping over time and potentially less prone to breaking or cracking in any way, right? But in terms of the actual grooves themselves, it is in no way more durable. So next up is that 180 gram vinyl just feels nicer. It feels more substantial. It feels more luxurious. And now that vinyl is, let's face it, more of a luxury product, more of a collector's kind of item, more of a, you know, it is an audio file product if it's well pressed and the record sounds great however it's got to feel premium you know it, it has to sell as a premium item and 180 gram being thicker absolutely 100 helps that so here's an interesting one according to some record pressing plants the increased mass and weight of a 180 gram vinyl record could help to reduce wow and flutter and by that i mean those pitch variations and for that occur from speed variation in terms of the record spinning on the platter this is in theory similar to how kind of record weights work we add mass to the record on top of the platter and therefore that enables the platter to turn at a more consistent speed it's an interesting one and uh, one that i think is a fascinating topic for discussion 
Last but not least, and I think personally this one might be clutching at straws a little bit, is that thicker records may help to increase the isolation properties of uh, the turntable. So by that I mean that we may reduce the amount of vibrations that can make it through the platter and into our stylus and ultimately back into the whole hi-fi system. Okay, So I'm not sure how much that could really make a difference and ultimately I think you know having the right turntable with the best isolation possible possible and having a good quality platter or turntable mat is going to have more of an effect on this than say you know a little bit of extra thickness in the record itself i'm not entirely convinced on that one so just to conclude then, and this pretty much wraps up today's video, if you're looking for Sonic Nirvana through the thickness of your record, then you're likely to be disappointed. However, that being said, I do like 180 gram pressings. I think they feel more premium, they feel more luxurious, and I think vinyl has to feel like a premium product if it's going to survive in the digital world. It's all part of the joy of collecting music physically, is that the product feels like a nice thing to own. Nobody likes a thin feeling flimsy record, and some of those pressings from the 80s and the 90s they really did feel very thin and very flimsy and I do think that having that extra weight does have some extra benefits in terms of being less likely to warp as well uh, you know I think there's a lot to be discussed here but ultimately does it sound better because it's thicker categorically no it, it, it doesn't but you know this is just what I found and this is what I think so let us know what you think about 180 gram vinyl pressings do you think they're a bit of a swindle do you think they're a bit of a ripoff or were you perfectly happy with the thickness of vinyl back in the 60s and the 70s you know certainly one 60 gram vinyl feels pretty nice and substantial and thick enough for me uh, however 180 gram does take things up a notch I think and add something extra in terms of the reissues that are coming out now but this is all up for debate and discussion let us know what you think in the comments down below and thank you ever so much for watching if you are new here please do consider subscribing to the channel give this uh, video a thumbs up if you like and we'll see you in the next video